and today we're going to do something a little bit different not just your normal trail run we're actually going to focus on some features in fact we'll call it trail feature friday because it's friday and we're going to focus on some trail feature so we're going to probably see a few extra people who are in town to recreate on the trail we're going to stay our distance from them and we're going to focus on what they're probably just not focusing on which is the features enjoy We're not very far into it, and you have a fun little slick rock section that offers a couple different places to practice things. Like, I noticed over here there's a little bit of a drop. He doesn't like drops. Hoping the peer pressure gets him to do it. By the way, this is my nephew Brenton, and the camera convinced him to try a drop. Yeah. When's the last time you did a drop? Probably six months. Yeah. That's good. Nicely uh, done. He says his heart's still pounding, but he did it for YouTube. Which means he did it for you. Here comes our first real feature. You come up this with as much speed as you can. And you ramp up this. Clearing this. Land your tire there. And then come back down. So let's see if we can do it. I'm not going to spend too much time on each feature, but this one that's kind of fun. It reminds me of like an old haystack rock or something. Woo! So not far up the trail from there is another little feature, which is a big rock off the left-hand side of the trail. Most people just go right, keep rolling. I always find it fun to hop up, roll off, and practice your drop skills. It's about two and a half feet high, nothing major, a lot of fun. Woo. A lot of people don't realize is the reason why this trail is called guacamole is this used to all be a big avocado farm until the fire came through and burned down all the avocado trees. You can fact check that. I wouldn't lead you astray. Some people think it's called guacamole because it has a little bit of everything. But I know it's because of the old avocado forest. Man, I'm totally embarrassed. I actually went and I checked the facts and I was wrong. There was never any avocado trees up here. If I remember right, it's pretty legit rock rolls over here. Yeah, there are. And uh, one of my biggest fears is the old rock roll. I think I see the line, I'll give it a roll. Now these are really scary to me. You can see I'm contemplating it for a minute before I just go and roll it. But I was pretty proud of myself for actually doing it. The rock roll. Woo! Cool thing about this little feature over here that we call the rock roll area is you have a couple things to practice. Your ups like I just did there, and then you've got these pretty serious rock rolls. Let me see if I can find the spot again. If you go the wrong way, you're in the cactus. Woo! That's about as steep as you can go, I think, without going over. Uh, but it's fun to try and test new things. So. Quick break. I know we're taking a lot of breaks, but I want to show you something really cool. This stuff right here. You don't see it everywhere in the world. This is a uh, little fire pit someone made of all petrified wood. If you look around here, there is tons of petrified wood. They ask you to leave it here um, so we don't take it. It's pretty cool to come see it though. And to think that's all avocado wood, I'm pretty sure. That's probably they want you to keep it, the avocados for the guacamole. But yeah, petrified wood, pretty legit. I know I've shared a few fun trail features with you because it is Trail Feature Friday, but I also would feel bad if I didn't share with you just the experience that you can have 
on the guacamole trail. A lot of people will actually call the entire trail a big giant feature. It's very feature rich, very much like a skate park, especially when you get out here to this slick rock. So my advice to you is when you come visit the guacamole trail system, put aside the mentality of going from point A to point B and trying just to finish a ride. Stop and have a good time, explore and enjoy what this trail is all about. Ooh, the loft camber. Ooh, rock wall. Pretty cool. Tight turn. Ooh. Oh, we have a sidewall. Nice. A little bit more. Off camber for sure. Woo! That's a fun section right there. Here's a new feature that I had never seen before. Reminds me of a little rock drop on Zan. Rock drop on Zan. Woo! Rock roll. All right, let's see if I can get up that thing. I doubt it. Here we go, Brent Dad. This is the last feature that we're going to highlight today. It's just a drop. It scares the heck out of me. I've never done it before. So, but hey, I'm going to try it. The thing that sketches me out is you can't see where you're going to land. It wasn't bad. Phew. Well, I'm afraid of that kind of stuff. It was scary, but not as scary as I thought it would be. It was so nice, I hit it twice. Ooh, kind of fun. Learning how to drop is uh, one of my goals. It's not the biggest drop in the world, but the advantage is it has a nice rollout. If you land anything past here, it's a pretty smooth transition down. One of the cool things about the rock on this trail is it's very grippy, even on these big side cambers. I mean, that's... Uh... Whew, that weren't smooth. In all fairness, and to show you the rest of the trail, I'm gonna speed it up just a hair, just for a minute. Oh, 
This really is a unique and awesome trail. Lots of twists, lots of turns, cool rock hangovers, a little bit of everything. That's why they call it guacamole. One last little rock roll section. Ooh. Pretty steep. This is, uh, this is what this area looks like as the sun is going down. It's, I mean, just amazing. Again, Zion's, which is closed. Had a few other mountain bikers on the trail today, but uh, for the most part. So I'm hoping you learned a couple things today. I'm hoping you learned the true name of guacamole and why they call this trail the guacamole trail. And I hope you learned a few of the cool features. You know, there's so many features out here that people just pass by every day. And my goal was to show those to you. So, and there's many, many more. So when you come out, find your own. It'll be more fun. Thanks. Now for the last couple minutes, please enjoy the regular speed, closing couple miles of this trail. They're worth the ride. I really enjoy, after all the hard work and the climbing and the rocks that you do, it rolls out really nice to the finish. A lot of fun. Guacamole, near Virgin, Utah, come ride. Good stuff. You enjoyed our lap around the avocado forest, aka the guacamole trail. Quick reminder get off the couch, get out and ride. Ooh. Phew. The trail just keeps on giving. Thanks for watching RMBL, Riding My Best Life.